In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most basic spinner uh, that you can with Tinkercad. Uh, this involves basically just three bearings, uh, a couple circles and a box, and uh, it should only take a few minutes to build if you understand kind of what you're doing. Uh, to start off first, you'll need to know the measurements of your ball bearings. Uh, and typically, uh, you know, the, most of them run in the same size, so I'll, I'll share those dimensions with you. Uh, first, I'm going to drag a plain cylinder box in, and then I'm going to drag a whole cylinder in. Uh, I can turn either one into a hole if I wanted to, but I'm gonna, since one's already created, might as well use that one. The hole, that's the one you want to make sure that it's your uh, ball bearing size. In order to change the dimensions, click on one of the corners that are on the floor or the work plane. Uh, and you'll see its default is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. The actual dimensions of the uh, ball bearings are 22 millimeters. So if you make it 22 millimeters by 22 millimeters, uh, that's the size of the ball bearings. Now, with some 3D printers, you might have to adjust this number. Sometimes I recommend actually going as high as 22.5 because I find that 22 is just a little bit tight. But it depends on how uh, well built the 3D printer is and uh, how accurate it can be. So that's the hole. Now, if I were to drag the, the solid in it, the solid is smaller than a hole because that's by default 20 by 20. So you want this to be at least a little bit bigger. So I like to go about either 2 or 3 millimeters bigger on both sides. And so since it's 22.5, I'll make it 25.5 and 25.5. Now, if I put this inside of here, I should have a nice little ring that I've created. So I just select both objects. I don't have to worry about them being perfectly centered because Tinkercad has a useful tool up here called Align. If I click on Align, lots of different buttons, uh, little dots show up. The dots that are on the floor right here uh, will center it along this way and then these dots right here will center it along this way. Now these dots on the side uh, will center it vertically up and down. So there's three different ways you can align it. Once you have uh, it aligned I could select everything, group them together and now I have a ring that I could use for my uh, spinner. Now this would be way too tall for a spinner because it's going to be a height of 20 millimeters tall. Most bearings are 7 millimeters tall. So I'm going to click on this 20. I'm going to make it 7 millimeters tall. And there you go. Now I have my basic uh, ball bearing uh, size. Okay, now this would be the, the center hole part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate this two times. So I'm going to go over here to the duplicate and I'm going to click on it one time and two times. Now it looks like nothing happened, but in reality there's actually three circles right on top of one another. But before I start moving them around, I'm going to change one more quick setting in Tinkercad. On the bottom right hand corner there's something called Snap to Grid. Right now it, by default it sets to one millimeter. If you've ever noticed dragging a shape around, it'll kind of like step jump around. Well, I'm going to change this now to five millimeters per jump which will be large jumps. That way it's easier for me and less counting to do and you'll see what I mean in a second. I click in the center and I'm going to press the right arrow key on my keyboard. I don't know, let's see how many times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Seems to be pretty good. I'm going to click on this again and I'm going to press my left arrow key six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I know I have three holes that are perfectly spaced apart and they're well balanced. That's really an important part of uh, Tinkercad. Next, I'm going to start building it into uh, the actual part of the spinner by dragging a box in here. Now, this might be, seem a little strange, but just bear with me here. So if I click on this box, I'm going to change the height of it to be 7 millimeters tall, which is the height of the circles. Um, if I click on these uh, again, you remember the outside edges are 25.5. So what I'm going to do with my square, I'm going to make this 25.5 so that it is the same width as my circles. Now notice how when I'm moving, I want to 
align it here. It might be a little bit tough because I'm still set to five millimeter snap grid. If I change it back to one millimeter snap grid, I can a little more smoother movement and I can try to line that up better. Okay, now I'm going to make it to about halfway through this circle here and then about halfway through this circle right here. Uh, and just do the best you can to line those up. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on this circle and I'm going to ungroup it so I can see my hole. I'm going to click on this circle. Make sure you select the circle, not the square. And I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to click on this circle and ungroup it. What that did was it, it brought back those holes that we created in here. And here's the fun part. Now I select everything all at once. I press the group button one more time. And take a look at that. Now I have a perfect uh, spinner. I can put a piece in the middle, two more on the ends, and it'll spin around uh, just the way I'd like it. Uh, I'm going to also have another video that's going to show you how to expand this to make it into a tri spinner with three on the outside and one in the center. Uh, and so I'm going to use this shape here as my basic model. So I'm going to stop the video right now. If this is the kind of spinner you want, by all means, you can dress it up. You can uh, add details to it. Take a look at the other basic shapes. Can you add like little bumps to the side? Can you uh, add a cone to it or, you know, add some, you know, interesting features to it to make it uh, a little bit more your own. All right. Thanks for watching this video.